Okay. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Syphil and Ollie. Thanks, Chester. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. Yeah, welcome to the show. I'm Syphil. And I'm Ollie. And today we have, I know we got some music, and we're going to have Precious Roy, and we're going to have... Uh, we have Precious Roy today? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I'm so psyched for today, folks. You don't... Let me tell you about this, don't, folks. Hey, dude, don't start... Precious Roy... Hey, man. What? It's the show. The beginning of the show. Oh, yeah. Introduced the next gig. I can't wait for Precious Roy. I don't even care. Hello. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Welcome to the interview part of the show. Yeah, today we're going to go via satellite to the Champs 1 space team and see how they're getting on. Yeah, it's been a while since we checked on them, and I think they're on route to Mars right now. Yeah, for those of you who don't know who they are, the Champs 1 team are the winners of the Syphil and Ali, uh, free access to the moon contest. And I think we're going to be connecting soon. They didn't really know they were going to be there for a three-year mission, did they? No, I think some of them were upset. Calamity, calamity. Uh, yes, you're coming in. Hey, Calamity, this is the Champ Swan. Uh, can you hear me, Ollie? Yeah, we can, we can hear you down here, dude. Yeah, it's good to hear another voice, Cal Calamity. What? Where's, where's the rest of the team? Uh, we ran into a little trouble on the moon of Zentar. Okay, what, what happened? Uh, we were attacked by a platoon of Bhutan warriors. Calamity, half the men were partially disintegrated, and the others were forced to become slaves in the Dilithian mines. That's ter- are you the only survivor? Yeah, yeah, Roger. It's just me. I, I came back to the ship to take a leak. Uh, and that saved your life, huh? Yeah, a calamity. The toilets on the ship are in the cockpit, and I just leaned over to turn on the rockets to remove myself from the incident. Calamity? Hey, John, what's, what's going on with the, the crackers in there, John? Oh, yeah, calamity. It's meal time here. Okay. What? I think the ship's computer is still programmed to feed uh, 10 men. Cal Calamity, can you hold on? Yeah. Are, are you okay up there, John? Uh, we're just running into a little trouble here. Help. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, we've lost contact with Champs 1. Uh, we'll, we'll try him again later. Rock! What do they do? What do they do? Rock! Okay. What do Bill Cosby and female rock star Bjork share in common. Hi, my book report is on the book The Haunted Spaceship by Matthew Lindsay. The Haunted Spaceship is a really good book. It's about two kids that find a crashed spaceship and when they go in they find that the spaceship is filled with dead alien ghosts. They learn how to fly the spaceship and invite all their friends and they learn how to DJ and they throw these kick-ass raves in the spaceship. Would you recommend the book to another reader? Absolutely. Let's go on a haunted spaceship of the alien dead will beckon thee into the future. Put on your spacesuit and dance. Dance into the future and beyond. Both Bjork and Bill Cosby did voices on the show Fat Albert. As much No, they didn't. Would you stop this about Bjork if you knew the intensity and the fantasy and the ecstasy of space, love, and expression, all right, you all right, would know I'll that stop. you don't touch the world of Bjork. I'll stop. Bjork. 
Their new album's called Octangular Octangularly Yours. Octangularly Yours. That's the name of the new album. I really think that's stupid. Who's it? Is this Medusa? Yeah. But see, the thing is, I think they're just picking album title names that are just hard to say. Octangularly Yours. What's that supposed to mean? You know what I mean? I don't know. Like, I, mean, I, I love you in eight different ways. No, I think it's just Medusa, and the way they write their name on the album cover, it looks the same backwards as forwards. I know. Because they make the letter A look like the letter M, uh-huh. and then it says Medusa. Uh-huh. And you're supposed to think that they're cool or something. Octa- octagular, octangularly hey, yours is we the got, name of the we're album. On, we're back on with Precious Roy. Oh, Precious Roy. <laughs> Hi folks, and welcome to the Precious Roy Home Shopping Network. Today we've got a new item, and boy is it a doozy. It's the Precious Roy Miracle Dirt. What is it? What isn't it, Syphil? I mean, folks, so few products live up to the word miracle. But Miracle Dirt is a true blessing. You can cook with it, shave with it, clean with it. Quiet. Read with it. Shut up. Miracle Dirt is an all-purpose substance that us Renaissance homemakers what is require. What going on with you? Being a single bachelor, <sighs> I run into a lot of shopping nightmares. Well, you know about the nightmares I've had shopping. You got some serious-ass shopping nightmares. Finally, there's a product that provides us a whole shopping list worth of uses. You're folks, ruining this. Folks, it's like cheese. I don't understand it, you don't understand it, but we love it anyways. Let's take some calls. Hello? It's just dirt, man. No, it's miracle dirt. Man, this stuff's just dirt. Yeah, what is it? If it were ordinary dirt, would it be called miracle dirt? Stop calling it, man. Stop calling it that. It's, It's dirt. Are you a superhero by chance, friend? No. Then don't question the power of Miracle Dirt! Hey, don't talk to the callers like that. Man, this guy's got you all freaked out, this Roy. Do you realize what a fool you've made of yourself over the last... Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Folks, Miracle Dirt is your last chance for salvation, and I mean that. Let's take another call. Yeah, I use your Miracle Dirt. I really, really like it. And what are you using Miracle Dirt for? Uh for dirt. What? For dirt. I use it in my garden. You know, my flowers You are so underestimating this product, sir. Folks, Miracle Dirt is going to do the job. Let's talk to Precious Roy now. This is Precious Roy. And when my gang finds out, you'll be dead. What about Miracle Dirt, Precious Roy? You. Suckers! Precious Roy, Precious Roy, making lots of suckers out of girls and boys. Yo, hi. Hey, what's going on? <clears throat> this Y'all is the... get ready for this interview because it's gonna be steamy and sexy. Yeah, I know that you guys out there like girls, and even some of you girls like girls. So this is gonna be excellent. Today we've got. A fantasy centerfold coming on the show. Oh, man, I can't wait. So let's welcome now centerfold Leona Kayla. Hello there, boys. Oh, God. Who are you? (laughs) What the hell? I was a centerfold back in 1912. So you're like a 102-year-old naked girl. Why, yes, I am. Oh, dude, uh, I, this is not what this I is, ordered. This is not Want right. to see a little, boys? No. no. Uh, hey, dude, I got an idea. I was walking in today. Excuse me, ma'am. I was walking in today, and I saw a talking mushroom uh, right by the front door. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at me, dude. I, <laughs> okay, uh, what? Let me just get, uh, there's a talking mushroom outside. I want to bring him in. We'll talk to him. I mean, he's got to be at least better to look at than this woman. Okay. Okay, thanks, ma'am. Hey, mushroom. Hey, why don't you come on in here? All right. So you're a mushroom, huh? Uh, yes, I am. I'm a mushroom. Hmm. So like you're in omelets and stuff, or what? Well, yeah, you could you could use me there. So you, like in pizzas and salads and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, you could. Huh. You know they make uh, Smurf houses out of mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, but I'm uh I'm not really into that kind of stuff. 
Uh, what do you what do you do? Well, I've, I've worked with a lot of famous people. I worked with Joplin, Morrison, even even George Washington. Well, I mean, what kind of stuff do you do for him? I mean, what do you do? This. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Chris. Wow. Oh, wow. This is, this is crazy. Oh. Man. It's like a That was... Man, we don't need your kind around here. Our show uh, is weird enough without you. Thanks I'm anyways. Like crap. Okie doke, we'll suit yourself. Now we're gonna cook with Aesop Jones. Oh cool, that's great, he's coming back. Yeah. You f I don't want him here. <laughs> okay, this is my friend, he's gonna do some extreme cooking today. He's, no. What are you gonna make today, Aesop? Uh, dynamite crack and cheese. Mac and dynamite cheese. mac and cheese. And what's that a side of? It's a supermodel. Excellent, let's, let's get, get to it. Oh, well, at least the supermodels look like they're all right over there. Let's, you want to dig in? No, I don't want any supermodels. There's no meat on them. Uh, all right. Leave me alone. Okay. Hello, welcome to Calls from the Public. We're going to take some calls. Okay. And uh, let's see what happens. I'll keep, the, I'll keep a good attitude for this. Okay. Call or go ahead. <laughs> oh, help me! Uh, there's a bear attack in my cabin! Okay, oh my just God. relax, just relax. Everything's gonna be okay. You got, uh, you got any music around there? No, but hurry, because he's getting in! Quick, oh. bears love music. Yeah. You got any music? No, uh, sing something, sing something. I don't... Sing to a bear? Yeah, just sing. Do something soothing and sweet, okay? Yeah. It's gonna be okay. Oh, it's a no, 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 don't sing our song! Oh. Don't sing our song! Oh, man, okay. Call or go ahead. Oh, man. Hey there, caller. What's your question? I've got this crazy bean bag. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Okay, where, what's your question? <laughs> Look at this thing. I don't know. I just was wondering why it's hopping around the house. Well, it's probably a Mexican jumping bean bag. Oh, yeah. Do they make those? Where'd you buy that? Mexico. Does it jump? Yeah. It's got beans in it? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what, you ride it out for about a week, because after that they're all going to die. Oh. And smell. So, uh, next caller. Please go ahead. Hi, I am from the Internal Revenue Service, the IRS, and it says here on this piece of paper that you, uh, roadied at 72 different rock concerts last year, and you have yeah. not claimed a no. single file, and you have not claimed that you made any money okay, when uh, you actually made uh, over 70 Civil and Ollie, Civil and Ollie Show. <laughs> Ah, it's great. It works, works every time. time. Yep. So remember that, folks. Oldest trick in the book. See ya. Hi, everybody. We're going to talk to Chester for a while. Hey, man. Hey. C can we have some advice uh, from you uh, about women and love? Sure. Yeah. The okay. king. Okay. What, um, when do you think is the right time to tell a girl that you like her? I don't know. Maybe in the car wash or something, where it's quiet. Eh, okay. Well, have you ever been in a Have you ever been in a fight over a woman? I've kind of done some drive-bys in that direction. For you've done drive-bys for for a woman? Yeah, I drove, drove by their house a couple different times in a day. Uh, okay. I'll, do you know the language of love? <laughs> yes. Like. How's it go? Surely. Hey, Fruity Lips. Come on. Come on home with me, Sugar Butt. Sugar Butt? Yeah. Kinda you like call the girl Sugar Butt? Yeah, and I keep cereal in my pocket to feed him. Okay. Well, thanks, Chester. Okay, just keep all the stuff under wraps, all right? Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. Bye. What did they know? What did they know? <laughs> Stay tuned for a strange but true fact about Michael Nesmith's mother. Is he that dude from the monkeys? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
Michael Nesmith's mother actually started out as an L.A. Laker girl. No, 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 dude. That was Paula Abdul. No, I'm pretty sure it was Michael Nesmith's no, mother. No, she invented white, white out. No, I'm Repression. pretty sure that she was an L.A. Lakers girl. I don't know. I'm pretty sure about this, folks. Yeah, yeah Parker, Parker was the guy who had all the, the toys, toys that you could, like... He had this scanner that you could, uh... A scanner? Yeah. Like, people could walk by and you could tell what they had for dinner. It was crazy. That's cool. So we had, like, an X-ray scanner. Yeah, and he had all, he had all those toilet cleaning sets. Oh, yeah, with the slugs? Yeah, because the, he was in that group that went around and cleaned bathrooms for free. So all you, need is, a, all you need is a bunch of slugs, and they'll clean out your you toilet. You use snails will hold on a lot better. Okay. Uh, we're gonna, we got to do the interview. Hello there. Welcome to the interview part of the show. Uh, today I'm going to be interviewing the inventor of ping pong. So let's have a word No, with dude. Him. No, dude. I got a better idea. We're going to go to Vegas. We're going to do some gambling, and I'm going to get our budget back. I'm going to double our budget. Triple it. Place your bet. Place your bet. The hell? What do you mean you're going to get our, our budget back? What is going on? I, I, I spent our budget on gambling. But I'm going to get it back. I'm gonna, I'll triple it. Dude. dude watch. Don't worry. Here we go. Okay, I want to I wanna, I wanna bet on a... Dude, gambling is wrong. Just let me do this. Okay, I want to bet on double zeros. Round and round she goes. Round and round she goes. Black 15. Black 15, everybody. Pay up, pay up. Oh. Dude, you suck. No, you man, no, man. suck. Okay, my luck's going to change. Watch here. Here we go. Okay, black 15. Black 15, he says. Round and round she goes, ladies and gentlemen. Round and round. This is me, baby. Double zero. Double zeros, everybody pay up. Okay, we're out of money. We're out of money. Pay up, you worms. Okay. Time to pay up. We'll get you some money. Just let me dude, go we to can my do bank. this, dude. You got to watch? No. You got to watch? No. Uh, w um, we can we can do this. You got to pay up there, Sonny. I ain't got all day. Dude, what can we do? Uh, what do you want, man? What's the name of that little weird guy? It's always on your show. Chester. Chester? Chester? Yeah, I like him. <laughs> he makes me laugh. All right, dude, you got Chester. him, man. Dude, dude, you can't give away Chester. Hell yeah, we Don't are. Don't bet Chester in Vegas. I'm going to triple the budget, dude. No, okay, dude. ready? Uh, all right, Chester on red five. There she goes, round and round. Black 15, folks. Black dude, 15. I can't believe you just lost hey, Chester. Chester. Chester, pack your bags, man. You're going to go to Vegas. Cool. Can I have some money? We, dude, we don't have any money. That's why you're going to Vegas. You got it? Syphil does. It's under his bed. You bastard. Yeah, it's a secret. Shh. Hey, man. I just want to say there's a lot of us out here today. And, uh... Who are you talking to? We gotta call this love, man. I want you all to hold hands, man. Because this is love. If you've got food left over, you ought to share it, man. Or freeze dry Cause, it. Because we got a long day ahead of us, folks. This is incredible, man. We can make a difference. Who the we can, hell are you talking to? We can make a change. First up, we got Syphil. Whoa, what is going on? There is loads of huge crowd. And I'm cool. Cool. You guys are wasted. Dude, you're <laughs> your eyes are dilated. Oh, anyways, I, music. Rock it. This is a good morning. Oh, it's night. Okay, I gotta go.